Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we're going to be replacing the rear discs and brake pads on the uh, VW Transporter T5, 5.1, 5.2 and 6, it's all, all the same. So um, let's get cracking. So I'm going to just show you how to take them off, put the new ones back on. First of all, put a little chock under there. We don't want the, uh, the van going anywhere when we jack it up. So now we're going to need to jack it up, put the axle stand underneath it and then remove the wheel. But before I do that, I just like to uh, just release, just to break the, um, the wheel nuts, just to, uh, just to make sure that they're loose. So I don't like, I don't like yanking on the nuts when the car's up on the, up, up on the jack or axle stand. So I'll just, just slightly break it by a quarter of a turn or something, and then I'll jack it up. Okay, the tools we need for the job, obviously axle stand, uh, jack to jack the vehicle up, and um, wrench to undo the, the wheel nuts. But on top of that, we just we need a 21 mil socket here for the um, caliper carrier. We need a 12 mil uh, socket for the, for the caliper. Um, we need 10 mil spline for the um, securing nut on the disc. Uh, lever, it's always good to have a good lever. A couple of um, cable ties just to hold the um, caliper out of the way. A little brush just to brush the um, muck out of the caliper um, brake pad carrier. Um, a clamp and a set of these or the special tool that helps you wind back your adjuster for the uh, caliper. So when you put your new pads in obviously you'll need to um, push back the um, cylinder on the on the caliper and that you have a special tool for that it's not very expensive it's about 30 quid or you can just use it with a pair of like clamps and a um, pair of grips obviously a pair of uh, pliers to cut your cable ties and there's never not a job that needs a good old hammer so uh, always uh, have a bit of a hammer is always useful so let's get on with and the job obviously a new set of discs and pads which we've got there okay She's on the axle stand, uh, wheels under there just in case everything goes wrong and uh, obviously the wheels, wheel bolts are off. So now we need, so then we need to get a 12 mil, 12 mil socket on there and undo the one there, one on the bottom and we should be able to take that off so I'll get on and do that. And then we do the same to the one under there. Okay they're both off now so then just, just get, get yourself a little lever just very gently and it will come off. Okay that's that's slightly off there, and then of course we've got we've got this, which is your brake wear indicator, um, which will there's a little little catch there. Look, so you push that down, and then we can pull that cap off. But I need both hands for that. Okay, we've got this out. I had to spray some WD-40 down there because this this obviously gets covered in water and grit, and you get a lot of grit just in this joint, there. and uh, they can be very difficult sometimes to pull out. So just chuck, spray some WD-40 and sometimes you just need to go around with a screwdriver and just uh, break the break the seal there when those two are together. But anyway, that's off now. You don't have to, but I like to just put a little cable tie there to keep that out of the way. And then it doesn't get in the way for this when you're doing this. So now I'm going to undo this. They're both loose, but they I have to say they, they're, they're on there very tight, so be prepared to have to really put some effort in to get those off. So I'm just going to quickly undo both of these. Okay, before I take that off, I just I need to we, we need to undo that. I really need to have loosened that actually before I, uh, while the handbrake was still on. But um, just because we're going to take these off anyway, just stick a screwdriver down there, stick the little spline in there, and just loosen that. That's, that's loose. Okay, so now we can go back to just taking that off. Okay, this is off. Uh, we just need to clean in here at a later date just to clean those up because that's where the pads are sliding out, but that's off. So we'll just put that down there with those bits. Now we need to re reduce that, take that off, and then we can just we can gently tap off the um, disc. Okay, we've taken that nut off and look, the disc, this one was quite easy going, so we didn't have to knock normally. Quite often, it's been on there for a long time, you have to tap it at the back to knock the disc off. So there we are, we've taken the disc off and the pads. So now we've got to just clean everything up and put it back. So what I use, trusty little wire brush and I'll just wire brush up around there to we'll clean all that surface up. So I'll get on and do that now. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's starting to rain here, so I'm gonna have to be a bit quick. So we've cleaned that up with the wire brush, uh, elect on the drill, I've cleaned that up where the, um, the surface has come together. Um, 
and I've cleaned up here look cleaned up there and there I just put a bit of um, added cheese and grease on there and on those surfaces there so I'll do that now and then I can start putting the new okay. disc back on bit of, bit of grease on there get our new disc there's our lovely new disc look this one's already been sprayed as in coated so if there if it hasn't been sprayed I just get some aluminium zinc spray spray it around there just to prevent corrosion because the ones on the the back last a lot longer so it's going to be on there for a while and then stick that on on one hand and then you've got to line up the the hole which is I'll do now and then I'll put that one in okay we've put that on um, basically when you put this on you can use that just to sort of hold it on loosely and then tap it around here with a hammer which I've done that so you just sort of tap it there, there, there and make sure that sits flush tight there and you'll then find that this is loose again and you can torque that up properly so that's all nice and tight on there so that, now there's no point cleaning this uh, until you've put it on because you know you're going to put your hands on it and it will get dirty anyway so you can see all the marks there so I'm now just going to use some um, thinners and I'll just wipe wipe all this off and clean it all up so let me get on and do that okay that's all cleaned up looks like new I don't remember obviously to do to do the back side as well okay I've put a bit of grease on those bolts and now we'll just put this one back and put it back on there. Okay, so they're back on and I've tightened them up a fair bit of torque with the uh, with the big old socket. So, next we can just uh, put our pads in and then that just leads us to sort this, this one out. Before we chuck the old pads away, we have to take out this uh, this uh, wear, wear, wear sensor here. So you just need to pull that little spring off the back there and then you can push that out like that. Okay, so... You can see the state of that pad. So now I can um, now I can put that into. I'll clean it up and then I'll put it in the, in the new pad. So that's in there. That's in there. That uh, flush. And then we need to bring that little spring washer back down there. And again, I'm going to need both hands for that. So <laughs> let me get on and do that. Okay, that's on there now. So we can put that in. Slide that in. Okay. That one, that, that one's in, and then just remember to uh, connect up the connect up that pipe. Which I don't know how to do that one-handed. No, I can't. So I'll do that. Okay, that's clipped. That's clipped in there nicely. I've, I sprayed a bit of, bit of uh, copper grease on there just to lubricate it all. And this one goes in. Yeah, that one in. So they're both in. So now what we've got to do. Is the distance of this is going to be too too um, too narrow because of the pads were worn before so I'm going to have to uh, adjust this so we have to need to rotate that so I've got my trusty things and I'll put those on there across that and I'll, uh, I'll just turn that uh, clockwise and that should go in okay there's a special tool for this which I haven't got well I have got it but I haven't got it with me uh, but what I've used is just a little G clamp you've got to press that in as you rotate it so I've got my I've got my grips like that, and then I'm just while that, while the clamps clamping it on um, from behind, uh, I then turn it. So I need two hands for that as I squeeze the clamp as I turn it. But that's how you do it to press to push your cylinder back in if you haven't got the special tool. But there is a special tool you can have. It's not very expensive. It's about thirty quid, um, but you can do it without. Tool. That's now uh, wound right back in because I was pressing it with the clamp with the G clamp, and then also just you turn it at the same time clockwise and that'll go that will uh, go back recede back into the into the casting so just one last final check I mean if you I mean, these should be good but you can pull these off here look and just make sure there's grease on there which I've made sure they're all greased up so they just slide nicely because if they don't it just means that your pads won't it won't wear right so that's all right and then I've done the same on the top one here so like you see my grease, that works fine. So now, as I put that back, as we've expanded that, look, that fits on there. That's perfectly fine. So then that fits on nicely. So we can just put our, our two bolts, one there and one there. Um, now the bracket, I'll put the bracket back on there and that sits in there. Make sure that's on there and I'll just put those two bolts on. Okay, uh, I've, put, I've done the top one there. I'm just gonna do the bottom one here. So we chuck it down the rain here. On that side, of course, getting wet. Uh, that 
that's, that's nice and tight. But torque that one up. And the same one on the top there. What do you reckon, Heidi? What do you think? Then. <laughs> okay, she's my umbrella holder. Hey, living the dream in Austria. Right, there we are. Daddy, what's with the wheel? Well, they put some new discs on, look, and pads. Look, there are, so she's on now. So, just to rem remember, you've, you've taken the uh, cylinder, you've taken it back, you've wound it right back now. So when you put that first put the handbrake on, it's not going to be very good. So what you have to do is, you put the handbrake on full, as hard as you can, let it off full, hard as it can, keep doing that, until that adjusts itself back out, so it'll be a nice tight fit. And also, of course, when you put your foot on the brakes, you're then going to have to take up the slack as well. So don't just go charging off down the road. So just put your foot on the brakes and get some, some uh, get those cylinders pushed in. And then you can just can't keep working your handbrake. OK, so now I'm going to just put the wheel back on. We're inside. The uh, car's engine's running. It's, I've got, this is uh, automatic, so it's in park, so it can't go anywhere. Um, so, yeah, just pump that. The brakes are good on the back. Feel that, and then um, handbrake. The handbrakes are good on the back. Feel that, and then um, handbrake. Do the handbrake up, down, up, down, up, and it should, should adjust itself obviously. And you should feel it get tighter, tighter. Yeah, let's move then. So that's what you do until that gets nice and tight on only a few clicks. So uh, that's it. So you've done it. You've replaced your um, your disc and uh, pads on the T5. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions, send me some comments. I'll put it in the comment section. I'll do the best to help. You can do it.